about 10 years ago, almost to the day, I was sitting exactly where you guys are. I was filled with excitement and nerves. Like, what the hell was I doing? I've got two kids under four, I was over 30. Did I make the right decision, you know? But gee, it could be cool. Um, and then Michael Coyne, who's here tonight, got up to do his valedictory speech to my class. I didn't know Michael at the time. Um, I do now, I count him as a friend and mentor. He got up, did his speech, and he ran through some images on the big screen. Oh, like mine, there. Um, they were amazing images. You know, he spoke about National Geographic, his work with the Black Star Agency. He mentioned his knowing James Nuckway. Um, like, for those of you not in journal journalism, James Nuckway is a big, big deal. And then a picture popped up of the Ayatollah. Michael was the Nat Geo photographer given access to Iran by the Ayatollah in the early 80s. They were striking images and, you know, like what great access to one of the world's most influential people. It was like far out, you know, like what a huge adventure. That's what I want to do. And at that point, it was confirmed on that night, this was really what I wanted to do with my life. I made the right decision and it'll all be okay, even though the kids were under four. Um, I'm not going to segue into this speech being the catalyst to launch, you know, Thousand Dreams for you guys in this room. But my point is that you've come this far, like you've done the hard yards at college and you're here, you've made that commitment. And if you commit to this industry, it can be the most rewarding and enjoyable career, bar none. I mean, I've worked in finance, construction, hospitality, retail. I sold golf clubs. I think this is blue because I've got an accounting degree. I hated that. Um, and they, they just don't compare. You know, like what other industry has you meet and photograph Natalie Portman one day? and then the next day you're flying out to live in the jungle with a tribe in Indonesia. I mean, what industry enables you to use your skills as an artist, your creativity, to become an object of visual communication? Whether it be art, journalism, or commercial photography, whichever path you choose, you're now a lean, mean storytelling machine, much like Les mentioned, and you control the narrative steering wheel. It's such a privileged position to be in, and you guys are about to jump in. And I say jump in boots and all. Give it everything, because if you do, if you work hard and with passion, a little bit of luck, and you show it some love, the world of photography will love you right back. The rewards are boundless, and I'm not just talking about winning awards. Although they're nice and they give you a little kick along, I mean the rewards within yourself, the, these selfish awards, rewards, the ones only you can feel. That the warmth in your belly when the parents of a child you photograph can now afford medicine due to the publicity your picture raised. The knowledge that that billboard you photographed is providing a positive message to thousands of people a day. The calls and messages from subjects and editors informing you of the change that your picture made. I get to feel that most days. I feel very lucky and privileged to do. And that feeling is, it's priceless. 